Alright, so I'm going to be opening up a new tablet that I got. Um, it's a Chinese kind of um, tablet. Um, yeah, it's a Chinese tablet. And I uh, forgot my knife, which is over here. It's the Honda V919, I believe is the model number. And uh, do I really need this? I guess they've already taken care of that. They've done, you know, some little modifications because this is a Chinese device, I guess. But this is a, like, it's like a uh, iPad Air clone. And it is 9.7 inches. This is the device here. Looks like an iPad Air. <laughs> uh, let me make sure that we are on the camera here. Yep. So it looks like an iPad Air. It has an aluminum body. Um, it is dual booting, so it has uh, Windows and Android on it. I'm actually more interested in the Android side of things, but I think most people would probably be more interested in the Windows side of things. So. And one reason I actually went with this one over, there's another one called the Tech Glass. Oh, I'm turning it on. <laughs> the Tech Glass, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> but there's that one, which is, apparently has a broken Android side. Most people are uninstalling it, but I wanted Android to work, so I went with this one. So it, it works with Windows and Android and uh, as much as I want Android the Windows side of things is actually a really big plus so having two operating systems is quite nice I'm just gonna turn this on I guess if it has juice in it <laughs> obviously it has something in it uh, it has the same screen as the uh, I'm going to have to look up more on this. It has the same screen as the uh, iPad Air. And uh, I think I'm going to have to do come back. Because A, I have to take a big fucking crap. And B, I've got to figure out how to use this thing. Nice. Alright, so uh, I figured out my issue. Um, the, the tablet's actually not charged at all, so even though the, this lit up, there was not enough power to power the screen on. I plugged it in for a little while and it kind of turned on and stuff. So it just needs power. I'll have to power it up later in another video, I guess. But I uh, figured I'd just show you what goes on with this, as long as it's okay. <laughs> um, it's going to be a little rough sometimes when taking devices like this from China. So on the back, it's aluminum. Uh, it has the Onda logo thingy on there. I could focus. It says 32 gigs. Um, it has two operating systems on it, so that takes up a good chunk. Has a micro SD slot on the back, which is under this piece of plastic. Got a cheap feeling piece of plastic, <clears throat> but uh, it is here. Um, yeah. And this is a little hard to put back on, but it I figured out how to put it on correctly after a few tries. It does support 3G, not 4G, but 3G. Um, so there's a SIM card slot and a slot for an SD card to expand storage, which is very useful. Um, I will be rooting this <laughs> and installing folder mount, hopefully, as long as it works. I hope it does. <laughs> um, so it is, you know headphone jack. I don't think, it doesn't look like it's a combo jack, like a mic and headphone combo jack. At least it doesn't say that by just showing a headphone thing. But you never know with these things. So I don't know. I don't normally use those much, but I'll have to figure it out. That's got the camera on the back, which apparently is garbage, and the camera on the front, which apparently is garbage. I don't really use cameras on tablets, so it doesn't bother me. It has a um, touch-sensitive button here, which could be an issue 
when holding it like in landscape mode. So, yeah. Um, has these buttons here for power and volume up and volume down. And I believe that's a reset button there. Um, and these stick out far enough that you can press them easily, unlike the NVIDIA Shield tablet. Um, on the bottom are two speaker grills and power uh, thing for charging, and it comes with an OTG and all that. Um, the speaker grills, I think, I believe from what I heard, was mon they were mono speakers. There was something up with the speaker grills. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to uh, talk to you about it in another video when I have some experience with this. It has the same panel as the iPad Air. So apparently has a, it's a really high resolution tablet with um, nice colors. Uh, but of course, it's, I don't think it's going to perform as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll put this back on. Show you my master skills about how to put a, a panel here back on. It's a little... Uh, nope, that's not it. It gets... There it goes. And there it is. Okay. So, that's that part. There's a tablet. And I'm going to show you what people normally show you first, last, because nobody cares about this stuff. Oh my god, it comes with crappy headphones. Oh my god, it comes with a power brick that I won't be using. Oh my god, there's an OTG cable. Oh my god, there's a USB cable that probably will break and uh, it's for the charging power brick thing that I'll never use. So it's another USB cable. And uh, oh my god, there's uh, instructions that I can't read. And there's more stuff that I can't read that's in Chinese. And yeah, I can't read that. Anything else? Look, there's the inside of the box. Woohoo! Let me show you the box. The box is actually nice looking. It's, it's basically a clone of the iPad's box as well. <laughs> but it still looks nice. And uh, yeah. So later on, I will be powering on this device and showing you some stuff. The box. Looks nice with smashed corners, which is quite normal for devices from Chinese, China, from Chinese. Uh, yeah, getting a language mixed up for a country. All right. There you go. Amazing, right? Looks like the iPad Air box with an Onda logo on it. And it's got some... Here, you want to scan that with your cell phone? Here. It's right side up. I don't know where that's going to take you, but go ahead. You know you want to. Okay. So 3G, a bunch of Chinese lettering. And uh, it says since 1989 on it. Hmm. Didn't know they were around since that time. Two gigabytes of RAM, 64-bit DDR, DDR3L, 32 gigabyte eMMC Wi-Fi. I'm not sure. What, I, I'm guessing this is it says Ethernet. I'm guessing that's with an adapter, but I'm guessing this is only two gigahertz Wi-Fi. It doesn't really say much about the Wi-Fi on the website. Um, yeah, <laughs> Android 4.4 4 and Windows 8.1, um, and it just shows it's Miracast compatible, uh, it works with a micro SD, OTG, uh, shows image file formats you can use, um, and such like that. La la la. So, thank you for watching. I'm going to charge this thing now.